This video is brought to you by Morfolio Trace. For me, there hasn't been a single project that hasn't started with a sketch. It is that part of the process that I will simply not skip. This is why I love every time that I get new tools to keep improving my sketching methods. Today, I want to show you the newest features inside of Morfolio Trace, an app made for creating curated and compelling drawings for interior design and architecture. By the end of this video, you will be familiar with the newest features available in the newest release of Morfolio Trace so that you can keep making the most aesthetic drawings for your design practice. And if you are new to Morfolio, I do have some beginner tutorials if you want to check that out you can click the link in the description below. If you like this video, please like it, subscribe if you haven't already, and let's get right into the tutorial. So this is the floor plan that we did in the last tutorial. So if you wanna check that out, make sure to click in the description of this video. So now what we have available in Morfolio Trace is the ability to add text into one single layer. So if you have used Trace for a while, you probably know that every time that you needed to add a text, it had to be onto a different layer. But now all of that text in your entire drawing can belong to a single layer, which for sure is gonna make things more organized and more seamless and easier to work with. So how are we gonna do that? So I'm going to activate the text tool to add a new text. And then I will have this box and then what I will do is I'm gonna name my rooms inside of this floor plan. So after I type the name, I will just move that to its corresponding location. And let's say that we're gonna have the kitchen here. Here's where the kitchen is gonna be. And now I can just make this box smaller. And now if I wanna add another box of text, all I have to do is go to here, the text icon, and it's gonna open a new box for me. So I can do that again. So I'm just gonna do a living room and I can just place it where it needs to be. And then I can do that for every single room that needs a text. So let's say that we wanna have all of those three and we can just click on done and you will see here how on the layers tab, it's gonna appear as one single layer. So it's really cool. If you wanted to, edit the text all together, you can do that very easily now as well. So to edit all this text, all you do is click on the three dots and then you wanna go to edit text. And basically what's gonna do, it's gonna allow you to select all of them at once if you wanna edit all of them. So I have to click here on the multiple selection tool and now I can select all of the text that I want. And here I can change all of its properties. So I can change the justification, the font, the color, and also the size. What I really like about the new release of Morfolio Trace is that now we have this architect font, which is really nice to use because it gives you that feeling of hand sketched writing or font. So I wanna make it a little bit more, no, I'll just leave it like that, or maybe a little bit smaller. And if you wanted to change the color, you can do that as well. So I'll use like a red, and then you can just click on done and all of your text is gonna change very quickly. Here in Morfolio Trace, you can also calculate the area and the perimeter of the spaces of your interior. So you wanna click on this tool up here and with this little icon, you wanna just hover over the area that you wanna calculate and it's gonna uh, give you there the area and the perimeter. Now, if it's not working for you, you can change the tolerance here because if you move this, then it's gonna take other boundaries, but if you modify it, basically going to help you to set those boundaries of the space that you have selected only. So if you're happy with that, you can also change the color. So if you wanted to add like a different color for this space, you can do that and you can also change the transparency of that. So if you would want that to be a little bit lighter. Right now it is already calculating the area. If you want to have that on writing, you can just click here. And then all you have to do is click on the paint bucket and it'll add the hatch as well as the square footage of the space. So if you don't want a solid color, you can also come here to the hatches and choose 
a flooring for the space. So I will choose here a hatch for the interior. So probably like a herringbone floor. And you could also change the scale. So if you make this a bit bigger, probably that's too big. Maybe something like that. So let's say that we are happy with that. And then you could also change the transparency of that if you think that it's a little bit too dark. And you could also invert the colors. And after you have made all of your changes, you click on the bucket tool and you are ready to go. When you start drawing in portfolio trays, you will quickly find that things can get very messy very quickly on your layers. But now what you can do is that you can merge certain layers to make them one single layer if you no longer need to have them separate. If you click on a layer, for example, this one, and you click here on the three dots and then you can go to merge down. What this will do is that this will merge that layer with the one that is below it. Sometimes in morphology trays, we want to draw very loose lines, but in other times we want to draw perfectly straight lines, for which now there is a feature on which you can turn a wavy line into a straight line in a matter of seconds. So let me show you how to do it. So you want to go to your settings and here you first want to activate the option for that, which is this one, hold to straighten line. So you want to make sure that that is active and now you want to go back to your projects and let me show you how that would look like. Now, every time that you use a pencil or marker or anything really, and you draw a line like that, and then if you hold it, it's going to completely make it straight. So this is very useful for when you don't want to use the ruler. Of course that you can use the ruler, which is here, and you can use the ruler to draw perfectly straight lines in any direction but this is just like a way of doing things faster and eventually improving your workflow. Mm -hmm.